It is a turning point in the history of environmental science. And if we don't act on it now, we will pass the point of no return. We must act now or never. Right. What do we want to do with it? Isn't it? I mean, it, it's slightly out of our wheelhouse, isn't it? How do you mean? You know, I thought we were more opinions over facts. So we give our opinions on it? No, but this is solid fact. It's not negotiable. Isn't it? Of course it isn't. I mean, it's only her opinion. What? Well, she can say what she likes, that's fine, but... I can easily find you another scientist who doesn't agree. No, you can't. You can't fight the evidence. But what's her angle? Huh? I mean, why is she saying all this now? What's she going to gain? She wants to save the planet, Larry. <laughs> what? Rumour and speculation? I mean, is there even any proof that climate change is real? Yes, of course there is. She's got it. Lawrence, you're not going to get anywhere fighting the science on this one. She knows her stuff. Thank you. A voice of reason at last. If we do go against the story, we just have to destroy her instead. What? Why would you want to do that? I didn't say I wanted to. I'm just weighing up the options. No, I'm sorry, but this is too far. You said the NHS was too far, but you soon changed your mind on that one. No, this is different. What was it that study said? Um, ten years. That's all we've got till global warming is out of control. Allegedly. But what if it is? What if we've got this tiny window of time and instead of doing something constructive, we just argue about the facts? If the world does end up going to shit, we will be responsible. Our actions will make future generations suffer. Our kids, our grandkids. I mean, I'm not planning on having any kids, so that argument really doesn't work on me. It doesn't matter. We have a responsibility and we have to take it seriously. Yeah, but it falls on the other side of what we do politically. What's it got to do with politics? We're dealing with the facts here. But that's not what the audience wants to hear. Who cares what they want? We should tell them what they need to hear. To give them the kick up the arse they need right now. Who cares if we lose the viewership of some bigots in the process? I care. And those bigots pay your salary and keep you in work. So you should probably care a little bit more about what they think. Then we can't cover this story. Not in the way they want. I'd have thought you'd be happy about all this. I mean, we're finally covering the news properly. Well, that's what you wanted. Not like this. This isn't reporting news, it's twisting it. Every news reporter twists the news to their own agenda. That's how it works. There's no such thing as impartial news. Why are you kicking off now? Because this is important. And I care. Oh, really? Of course I do. And how long have you been an environmentalist? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I... Because, correct me if I'm wrong... But you didn't have these objections when we started. You were all for us skewing to the right. Well, I've had time to think. Plenty of time backstage, I bet. What? Watching Lawrence and me, wishing it was you up there. No, it's not like that. I think it is. If you were presenting, would you still have all these objections, or would you be revelling in it? Okay, what about him then? Where's the, oh, I can't go on camera, I'm too scared, wah, 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 Larry, eh? Wouldn't he have something to say about all this? I've grown up, Chris. Listening to all these opinions, it's just opened my mind up to new viewpoints. So you've radicalised yourself. (laughs) Wonderful. We don't have time for this. We need to make a decision. Laura, please listen to me. If we do this properly, we can really make an impact. We'll make an impact whichever way we go. And only one of them will actually help the show. Yeah, but if we discredit her, then her research will be ignored and we could do irreparable damage. Whereas we champion her and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to help fix things. Would you like that as your legacy? It's got Nobel Peace Prize written all over it. Well, I suppose... We should weigh the options up properly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We shouldn't rush into this. There are too many factors to consider. Exactly. Yeah, but you're talking about legacy. I mean, not even that, but potential legacy. How long will it take? Years? Decades? Whereas ratings can fall overnight. Look, all your right-on humanitarian shit will be a footnote at the end of a failure. And that's if it even works. Yeah, but that's not the point. Yes, it is. Look, I like this job. I don't want to have to start all over again somewhere else. If you don't care about the show, maybe you should just walk. Maybe I will. Fine with me. Everyone's replaceable. Right, pack it in. We go on air in one hour. We need to decide now. Easy. We trash it. Under no circumstances. This is too important to throw away. Fine. It's up to you then, Laura. Well, after all, 
It's your show that could get cancelled. It's your show that could go down in history. Shut up! The pair of you just stop! This is too important. I need to think about this properly. Of course. You should have some time I to- I said shut up! I need a moment to think about this. You can F off. I'm Laura and this is Lawrence, bringing you all the facts up front. Lawrence, has anything happened in the world today? I'm not sure, Laura. Uh, Could you possibly mean the most blatant example of fear-mongering of the 21st century? I certainly do. Emma Williams, a supposed expert in environmental science, had this to say. I have finally been able to confirm the link between our actions and climate change definitively. It is a turning point in the history of environmental science, and if we don't act on it now, we will pass the point of no return. (laughs) If that's what the respected ones look like, I'd hate to see the quacks. (laughs) Alright, let's be serious. Lawrence... Do you think there's anything to what she's saying? Uh, no, not at all. Excellent. That's the end of that then. (laughs) But seriously, what do you think of the situation? Well, Laura, I really don't think this is something we should be concerned about. I mean, it's just one person's opinion. We can't just jump on the first thing that's said. That'd be foolish. I mean, we don't even have a consensus whether climate change is a real thing yet. I mean, sure, there's the odd fire or flood, but how do we know they're connected? Very true, Lawrence, very true. And then you've got to have a look at where the information is coming from. I mean, had you heard of this woman before today? I'll be honest, I've forgotten her name already. Exactly. I mean, anyone can put on a white coat and say something vaguely sciencey, but does that mean we should blindly put our faith in them? I don't think so. But I've been doing a little research, and this Dr. Williams really isn't the saint she claims to be. Warning, warning, fake news alert, fake news alert. Go on. Well, she presented this information at some conference in Europe, of all places. And how did she travel there? I have a feeling it wasn't some wind-powered vegan mobile. Exactly. (laughs) She took a private jet. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. So if she cares so much about these carbon emissions, why is she trying to kill the planet with them? Hmm? Can you explain that, Laura? No, Lawrence. I really can't. So then we have to ask, why is she saying this now? What agenda is she trying to push? Who is paying her to say all of this? Would you say that she's in a vulnerable position where she could be influenced by a large corporation? Well, it's on record that she's suffered with autism. Who knows who could be taking advantage of this poor, innocent soul? So, are you suggesting that this is all just a publicity stunt? Designed to divert our attention from more pressing issues? Oh, of course not. No, 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 that would be an outrageous accusation. But you never know. Now, in the name of editorial fairness, we did approach Dr Williams to discuss the issue with us, but she refused to comment. Sounds pretty suspicious, if you ask me. Absolutely. Please feel free to send us your opinions, as we always want to hear every side of these conversations. Coming up, we're joined by old friend of the show and today's guest contributor, Mrs Baker, who asks, abortion, pro-choice or pro-murder? But first, a quick message from our new sponsors at BP. Thank you, thank you. This News & Light Entertainment Presenter of the Month award means so much to me. And there are so many people I want to thank right now, but I just want to thank me. Well done, Laura. (coughs) (laughs) I'm joking, of course. When I was a little girl, I used to dream that something like this would happen. And now that it has, I'm going to use this speech to say that...
How was the awards thing? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, long. And <laughs> the bar was prosy. Pay bar? Oh, cheapskates. Still, not too bad. You found a spot in your office to put your statue? Oh, no, it's not a statue or anything. It's just a certificate. Oh, right. Still, at least you can hang it over your desk or something. Yeah, just need to find a decent frame for it. Oh, listen to this. Look, under their interests, they put, I am also a keen reader and have a strong interest in politics and social justice. (laughs) I mean, what the hell is that supposed to mean? No idea. (laughs) Social justice, my arse. They just want attention. They've also sent it to completely the wrong place. True. (laughs) You'd think they'd actually do some basic research before applying to be a researcher. Embarrassing. Chuck it in the rejects pile. Oh, forgot to say, <laughs> the Mail have offered me a weekly column. Oh, nice. How's the pay? Not too bad. Good publicity, though. Very true. Are you allowed to plug the show? I think I'm allowed to say whatever the hell I like. Go for it, then. Oh, this one's promising. Shoot. I'm sick of being told what to do by these lefty millionaires. I want to be part of something that readdresses the balance, like your great show. Flattery's good. I mean, they use the wrong your, but... That can't be helped. Any relevant experience? Not really, but we've all got to start somewhere. True, true. And enthusiasm is always the most important thing. When's he free to come in? She. Oh. uh, Still, they sound decent. Definitely. One for the callbacks. Right. That's all my stuff packed up. I'll be heading off then. Fair enough. Right. This is it, then. <clears throat> All right, sorry. Zoned out there. Uh, if you need a reference or anything, just feel free to give us a shout. Thanks. But, I mean, there is lots to do around here, so it might take a while to get to you. Of course. Best of luck, though. You've really brought so much to this show over the past couple of years. Five years? Really? Wow. Time flies. Still, we're very grateful for everything. If you say so. Bye-bye, Chris. Have a nice life. Whatever. Actually, I've got something to say. Mm Hmm? What? Well... Oh, fuck it. What's the point? What a wanker. All right, leave it out. Anyway... Any thoughts about the show tonight? Not yet. I'll work something out later. Fair enough. Phil was saying something about starting a podcast for the show. You know, uh, F you on the move. Oh, right. He didn't mention that to me. Really? Huh. That is odd. Um, how long do you think this will last? What, the show? Yeah. Can't see it stopping any time soon. Yeah, me neither. If anything, it can only go up from here. And is this... Do you think that this is the rest of our lives? Yeah, I suppose. Right. Is that a problem? Of course not. Why would it be? You just seem a bit, uh... You're not having doubts, are you? What? No, no, no. Of course not. I mean, if you did... (laughs) You probably should have brought them up before now. Well, then it's a good thing I don't. We don't want another Chris situation on our hands, do we? Well, we don't. So it's all fine. Just after everything this has given you, the the, the ratings, the awards, the success that you have always wanted, it would seem a bit ungrateful if you did. It's all good, okay? The job, the content, everything. It's all fine with me. I'm fine. You got it? Right. Of course you are. Look, I've made my bed now, so any objections that I might have don't matter anymore. Not that I do have any, obviously. Obviously. I'll sod everyone else. At least we've got a stable future. In episode 4 of Balancing Act, Laura was played by Lisa Hardy, Chris by Daniel Bates, Lawrence by Harry Cowper, and Emma by Alison Reeves. 
The project was created by the company and scripted by Harry Cowper. It was edited by Lisa Hardy and Daniel Bates. Balancing Act is a Play the Subtext production for the Try Me Love Me Festival.